Hi, I'm Allie. We're watching Mochi Does, and guess what? I'm moving, and the house is insane right now. So, if anybody at all was wondering why I've been pretty silent for a while, it's been a weird tough couple months and it's definitely like like not helped by the fact that I've been really lazy but what's going on is we've been dealing with problems in our area especially with the rain potential health hazards and everything so it's definitely been at the forefront of everything and we haven't wanted to we've basically just putting all of our attention on this issue and so now it's culminating to us moving out uh thankfully so that's life right now so i figured why not do what everybody does and videotape us moving out and our setup right now so let me take you through it <laughs> i guess i don't know i'm this is so weird i don't i've never vlogged fit check I also am still working, but luckily I work from home, so I'm able to, like, in the spare time or downtime, I will be just maneuvering this. Are you gonna help? also gonna be like kind of cleaning out the closet I'm probably not gonna get rid of too much because I went through it not that long ago but although I love Warren High School Host Club I never wear bright pink so this one's out <music> See these socks? 
They glow in the dark. So, and you can probably tell, but this got pen on it, but I actually managed to get a lot of it out, and now I'm thinking maybe I could, like, dye this or something. I don't know. I've been debating, but I kind of, I love this print, so I kind of wanted to keep it and figure out, like, a DIY or something that I could do with it to kind of save it. So, I'm going to keep this, but I don't think I should put it in the same box as my other clothes.
one box down. We're getting somewhere, kind of, slowly, but I need a snack break, so we're having tiki masala. I just keep thinking, like, oh my god, I have such cute clothes. And here I am in just, like, little sweats. I'm planning on packing up pretty much my entire closet and just living in them. Living, living out of a suitcase. I think I've worn this in a while and I don't know if I am going to so I think I'm gonna get rid of it I can go this one I know for sure I'm probably not gonna wear I just don't I haven't been wearing these kinds of shirts but this shirt's cool I have so many other cute clothes I didn't show you guys in the last box but I'm just trying to get through things. I only got rid of one shirt out of that whole box too and it was just because it had a big stain on it. And I didn't even realize how stained it was. I'm like how did I not notice? But I also just haven't worn it in a long time so you know. But this shirt I wear I wore it to my cousin's birthday. Is it his birthday? I think it's actually his girlfriend's birthday and she had like a theme party but it was really fun, really cool. It was a, like a nautical theme so I was like ooh cool this shirt will be perfect. And I'm still trying to figure these out but I honestly think I should wait till summer because that's the thing I haven't been able to wear them. I don't know. I'm back and forth on these a lot because I feel like they're really great in the right circumstances but the circumstances don't always arise and it's also because I'm like kind of scared like I feel like I make too much of a statement or I stand out way too much when I wear these but I like them I think they're a really great idea to just put over like tank tops that I wear all the time but they don't always look that good if, I, if that makes sense like you have to pair them with the right tank top I haven't quite figured that out. So I try to make them match as much as possible, but I'm wondering if actually the way to go is to make it so they don't, and it will look better if they're like, if one, if like the tank top really pops underneath. I don't know, I haven't decided, but I want to keep trying, so I'm gonna keep those. This crop top flannel, but not even a flannel, because it's not that thick. I wear those over tank tops. It seems like everything, like I have so many shirts, like button down shirts that I basically wear just as open as almost a cardigan style over tank tops. I like to just, I like to layer. That's how I like to do it. I've realized. I still like this shirt. I think this goes with a lot of things. Simple, white, but cute and fluffy. I don't wear it all the time because it's an off the shoulder one and I don't always like to- I mostly don't like to wear the bra that I have to wear to go with it. That's really what it is. I need to just get a new bra, I think. I'm wondering how much stuff I'm gonna get rid of because I'm moving to- like, the area I live in, obviously in California, doesn't deal with rain a lot, but uh, we do get, like, enough where I do have to kind of change my closet during the seasons. Like, I can't be wearing... I just can't be wearing the same stuff all the time. What do you guys think? I haven't worn it in a long time. I don't think there's... It's soft, and I used to love wearing the, sh the style of shirt. But surprisingly, I haven't worn it in a long time. And now I'm rethinking that... 
plaid one too because I haven't worn it in a long time. And this one, I want to love it so much. Honestly, the only reason I don't wear it is because I need to take the herringbone <clears throat> out for the, um, because it's like a corset top or like a wannabe one. But, oh my god, the, the hair, the, whatever these are, they poke through and stab me. But I don't want to, like, cut it open because then I have to re-sew it, so it's, it's a project. But I honestly think I will wear that when I fix that part. Because this one, like, I don't, you can kind of see it. Yeah, I think you can kind of see it. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get one of these, too. I feel like they're just not my color. So I have not worn these in a bit. This is a simple dress, but I I love it. It's really comfortable. You can wear, you can layer it to be in different seasons, and it worked out great. I like this a lot. I'm gonna wear this again for sure. And this long sleeve I've kept for so long because I'll layer it, but the collar is kind of weird. And now if I layer anything, I just put my turtleneck underneath. So I'm thinking I should just go ahead and get rid of this. This shirt I love. It's super soft. I love this. I've kept it for so long, and now it's like the um, like when I was originally when I originally got it, it wasn't quite the vibe to just wear it by itself like out. But right now, it's like you could totally wear this out by itself, and I'm like, dude, my butt falls out. Like I don't know how you guys are just, or how people, not necessarily you guys are, just out and about in just this. Although it's comfortable, like I, I wouldn't mind. I don't mind just wearing it by itself my booty out. Love this shirt. Making my boobies look really good. Makes them look poppy. This one, I, this out of all the ones that like covers tank tops, I feel like I've worn the most. My, my biggest qualm is like, I love all these styles and I would not mind wearing them day to day, but I hate standing out so much. I mean, yeah, I'm speaking to a camera which could potentially be viewed by like tons of people, sure. But it's like, I don't at least see your guys' eyes on me directly in the moment. Whereas like, if I go out to just anywhere in public and I'm wearing anything that's like, maybe not even risque, but just different, everybody just like stares. And it just, that's the part that like, I'm like, mm -hmm. uh, this almost to me feels more like an excuse to show you guys my hobbies or to do my hobbies because it's like, I'm creating content, but I'm also doing the hobby that I've wanted to do for so long. So it's like kind of a double whammy, which in my mind makes me want to do it even more. Hopefully that kind of makes sense. Cause there's so many things that I want to create, which I'm hoping at the next space that we move to, I'll really be able to do. Cause I, ha I have like so many projects in mind that I really want to be able to just tackle, but I have so little space here to do anything like I I when I do my nails I take over the tiniest desk and have to like rearrange a bunch of stuff and that's part of why I haven't done it in a while I've just felt no mo motivation to like pull things out and then it's also been like maybe I should give my nails a break while we figure out this whole moving situation so just been a lot so I feel bad for not keeping you guys updated life's just crazy and I am very ready to move on from this space. I definitely feel like once we are out of here, there's going to be its own mess of things, mostly just because we don't actually have, like, we don't have a apartment we're specifically moving to, but we are living with some family in the meantime until we get a new spot. And that's mostly just because we're moving out of state. So I didn't want to... Um, like sign a lease for something that we've never seen right like I'm not gonna and it's like it's far enough where it's difficult to go there and back so we're just gonna stay with family and they're very they're absolutely amazing love my family and they're gonna um help us out and let us just stay with them until we find a place so and luckily I don't have to switch jobs that's also a really good thing I am gonna miss my being able to see my coworkers though because right now I'm able to just like pop into the office. Like I don't have to go, but if I wanted to, they're right there. And they're all so nice. I love my coworkers. It's a really cute little cardigan. I need to put jackets in here. So 
The jackets are nice. I don't know why I don't wear it. Like, there's really nothing wrong with it. I feel like it's just because I have so many other sweaters. But I think I will keep it, actually. I feel like it's another thing that would go great with just athleisure wear. I actually really need to get new leggings because all my old leggings, I feel like they just do not flatter me very well. And when I run, it's so annoying, they fall. <laughs> I'm like, how are you fine when I'm, how are, like, I don't understand how it's completely fine when I'm just, just walking. I don't know, they don't feel loose, but then the minute I start running, it's like I can just feel them like falling down my waist and I'm like, what the heck? So I'm getting rid of them. I think they're just old and like just loosening or something. I don't know. I felt like they should la should have lasted a lot longer than they have. So a little might be that. So I won't be getting that same brand. This is a massive sweater. This one I want to keep because I dyed it myself. So I'm really proud of it. Like I did all this myself. I'm an astronaut and NASA. I like it. I'm going to keep it. This is my white crop top jean jacket. I feel like I will probably keep this for a long time until I maybe stain it so bad that I can't use it. But my big plan is to not be wearing or buying any clothes that are new and just to trying to keep my old stuff to make it fit better and to just be like trying to, or anything that I get is that's new, I have to get rid of stuff. like. I don't know, I don't want to give myself an out for buying clothes. I really want to stick to not buying clothes, especially clothes that are brand, brand new, just because, well, fast fashion is such a big problem, but also because I realized how much is just eating into my wallet, but I need to be able to be like, no, that's not, I can't take that home. The jacket, the hoodie in inside is separate, but I feel like they go perfect together, so I always wear them together. And I feel like this is just another thing that maybe I shouldn't get rid of because I wear I wore it a lot when I was exercising a lot more and I need to get back in the habit of exercising more because I've been worried about my health. So the rain has caused a mold problem and so that's the biggest reason that we're leaving. We've had people come in and they say it's not a health hazard but I'm like how do you know because like all they did was come in and like eyeball it and I'm like how can you really know? it's fine by just eyeballing it, you know? Because a lot of mold not only looks the same, but it's like you can have multiple colonies of mold, I think, that live together and, it, and they're like symbiotic or they can have a community. And one could be really bad and one could be like whatever. So no matter what, if there's mold there, you're having spores and spores will latch onto any wet surface. And guess what? guess what all of your like lungs are covered in it's just like a nice slimy mucus that they love so it's like no matter what you're just breathing in spores which i feel like can't be good for you so that's another reason we're, or that's the biggest reason we're like yeah we gotta go i don't care if you say it's fine i don't think it's fine so we're out um and i haven't been exercising and i've definitely noticed that my like i've been coughing so much more and i, ha I don't have rona like we've been tested and good on that front at least but it's like I have this perpetual cough that I did not have and I and like I did not have a couple months ago so it's like how you I can't I can't understand how you're telling me this is, isn't a health hazard you know what I really want to do and I think it would be good to do during the transition is go through my closet put everything on a clothing rack catalog my closet especially because I'm planning on not buying new clothes so or cycling through things all the time so i potentially i know what's in my closet think of new ideas of how to wear stuff i just like looking in like a mood board for clothing items or something like that you know i think it'd be really cool if i like catalog it and be like these are outfits that typically go with it and like put them on have pictures on a rack so you like and stuff like that and just have that all out. I think that'd be really cool. But I just have to, I just have to do it. It's a matter of those things where it's like time and motivation. I think the other problem is space. I feel like I don't have enough space to do that here. I am, so, uh, I hopefully you can kind of see 
I have like no space to do anything. I don't have space for a rolling rack for clothes, which would be super helpful for me to catalog stuff. We're looking for an actual like condo house type thing so we can be there for a while. Be able to feel like adults and feel like we can have that type of adult life of decorating a house and caring for a house even if it is just a rental and so the next spot i want to decorate everything in like the dark academia style like do really fun we'll do dark colors do ornate details on everything and i've already found a lot of ways to do that it's just a matter of again space another whole box is full and this is just just tops. <laughs> I haven't even started on my pants. So that comes next. I think these work pretty well for this. I'm going to label these. All right, time to tape it up. Depending on what, where would be the best. The hair is Eh, yeah, good enough. That's really not that great, but hey, you know what? It's on. Show you my handiwork. So I totally forgot to record an outro. And, but that's it. There is going to be a part two. So if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and check that out when it comes out. And I'll see you then. Bye.